the introduction of the C-sharp scanning capability on rapid scan static is really a component of our broader vision of providing that quick feedback to developers as early as possible in the life cycle on impactful issues. Uh, so I wanted to make sure I set some of that context, but without further ado, let's go ahead and move over to the demo from Steve. So please, Steve, take it away. Hello everyone, my name is Steve Tillett. I'm gonna introduce you to our new static analysis capability that will help you find and fix vulnerabilities in your C-sharp applications using the RapidScan static analysis engine. Okay, this capability will be available with Coverity 2024.6.0, and I will be using CodeSight to demonstrate finding and fixing vulnerabilities in a C-sharp application from within my development environment. To show you the power of our C-Sharp analysis, I'm going to use the Vulnerable Light app, which is a C-Sharp application available on GitHub. Uh, it's purposely built with vulnerabilities in its code base. Okay, let's get started. So I'm going to go up here and click the Run button, and this is going to run a quick scan. Okay. So as you can see, we have three vulnerabilities reported on this code base. The first is an unsafe deserialization issue, uh, which is reported as a high severity issue. So we're going to fix this first. Let's click on this issue, go to the line of code, which uh, deserializes the object right down here. And you can see if I hover over it, it'll show you the um, uh, in more information about it. Now, unsafe deserialization issues are a real problem since they can be used to elevate privileges, perform denial of service attacks, among other things. But the worst type of attack comes in the form of a remote code execution attack, hence the reported high severity of this issue. Okay, so I'm gonna click on this issue, uh, click on this line of code that has the unsafe deserialization issue. And so this, this line of code is using the Newtonsoft JSON library to configure the deserializer. The next line of code will actually deserialize a JSON string into an employee object. Since a JSON string can be controlled by an attacker, this application is vulnerable to unsafe deserialization attacks. Now, if we go over here and read the remediation uh, for this issue, Oh, actually, this well, let's go with the description first. Uh, we see that type name handling setting is set to type name handling dot all. Uh, what this means is that the G JSON deserializer will handle any type that is explicitly added to the JSON string itself. And an attacker can manipulate these types to exploit, um, exploit the code. Now, you can see that the remediation is quite simple down here. Um, basically, we're just going to change the type name handling dot all value to type name handling dot none. That's it. So let's go ahead and fix this line of code. Go ahead and save it. Uh, this change will prevent the deserializer from using any embedded types that were added to the JSON string, potentially by an attacker, uh, preventing uh, this attacker from exploiting uh, this issue. Now that I've shown you how to find and fix vulnerabilities in your code using the new C Sharp Rapid Scan tool in CodeSight, we should really talk about when you should use this tool to scan your code. Uh, scanning your code as early as possible in the development in, um, of an application is very important. This is essentially the shift left paradigm that is talked about by the security community. Scanning your code earlier means that we can make these seemingly simple changes to our code that would probably break an application that is closer to being uh, pushed into production or actually might be in production. Once the application is in production, these seemingly simple changes could break your application and require a lot more work. So CodeSight makes shifting left less daunting as a developer can address these vulnerabilities in their IDE before they make it into development and production streams. So I encourage you to get Coverity 2024.6.0 and try it out. We'd love to hear your feedback. Thanks for listening and happy scanning.